going out at night kind of sucks right now. I need to get some tinting for my mirrors because I appear to be at just the right angle for people to get right up on me and totally dazzle me with their lights. At least in the daytime I don't have that problem, but then I also have the sun in my eyes like I do right now. So I don't really have a topic for today. Just vlogging because I can. But speaking of chicks working on motorcycles, I saw a video today of somebody pair of chicks working on what looks like a dirt bike or a moto and uh, chick totally stripped off the uh, uh, one of the bolts in the bottom of the engine hosed the engine I mean like it, and it was because they didn't seem to know the difference between clockwise and counterclockwise I mean it's not that's one of the first things you learn whenever you learn to use a screwdriver righty tidy lefty loosey but she just kept tightening it and tightening it and it eventually snapped off. And uh, and I'm thinking, this is what gives chicks a bad name. Because she strips a screw and then she pulls the screw out and she's like, oh, well, it was a bad screw anyway. I was like, no, it wasn't. You were screwing it in the wrong way. But then people take that to an extreme and they say, oh, well, you know, girls should never be allowed work on a motorcycle or any kind of engine for that matter. And that's just not the case, really. I'd say that idiots shouldn't work on engines. And you don't have to be incredibly smart to work on stuff like this. You have to have the right tools. And that's another thing. She used an Allen wrench somehow. I, I don't understand. Like, she rounded off the bolt on the bottom. I'm guessing it was a drain bolt. She rounded off the bolt on the bottom and then somehow she got an Allen wrench in there and tightened it till it snapped. I mean, that's pretty stupid right there. And, uh... I mean, like, my drain bolt was pretty, he pretty tight whenever I got this bike. But... And, and I did round off the drain bolt at first. Not a lot, but enough that I felt stupid. As I hadn't quite perfected my uh, soft mallet plus wrench technique at that point. I was just trying to change the oil and the thing it, you know, it probably hadn't had its oil changed in 10 years. That's a little different. This bike that she was working on looked new. And what the hell? How stupid do you have to be? Uh oh, my glasses. <laughs> Shit. Okay, they're not on my face. Where did they? Oh, there they are. See, I would have left them. <laughs> it's always whenever you start going out that you think oh yeah I should probably also go do this and this and this so I was thinking I gotta go pick up some paint and I gotta show the bike to the guys at the auto zone because they helped me out so much for the three months I was working on it, I think I spent probably like 50 or $70 on paint. And it seemed like every time I went in there, you know, I'd get a part and then I'd pick up some paint too. And then like pick up an air filter and pick up some paint. Pick up some paint and pick up some more paint. This mount feels really loose today. Probably because of the way I have it adjusted. My seal isn't leaking today. This is weird. So I put in new fork seals and they seem to be pretty secure and then I would go out riding and they'd weep a little bit. 
Uh, you weep too if you were attached to a bike that a girl rode, am I right guys? <laughs> Whoa. Hey now, are you a bus? Then you probably don't have to come to a complete stop. But yeah, so the fork seals have been weeping. So I get some uh, 1200 grit sandpaper and I sand down the, or don't sand down, I sand the, uh, the fork tubes and I'm thinking maybe there's something in the way there. And uh, so they're still weeping. So today, I think that, actually, I think that there might be something in the seal itself, like a little bit of dirt. I had it very clean, but I used the old fork seal whenever I drove in the new one so that I didn't damage the new one. But the downside to that was I most likely put some of the old fork seal into the new one, which is probably why it's leaking. I've used some film, like 35 millimeter negative, to clean out around the, uh, around the seal, but it keeps shunting up crap. So I think it's just gonna have to do that until it finally, you know, gets all of that mess out of there.